create a turn in assignment, we're going to want to be inside of our course. And once we're inside of our course in Canvas, over in the left hand navigation, simply click on assignments. And then we're going to create a new assignment. So I'm going to go over to the top right, or near the top right, and click Add Assignment. That's that plus assignment blue button that you see. All right, so now I need to fill out some of my assignment details. I'm going to give it a name and call this the draft for paper one. And then I would put in its description. Give it a point value, so maybe 20 points. And then here, under submission type, I'm going to want to make sure that I have selected external tool. So I'm going to click on external tool. And then I'm going to click external tool URL inside of that field. And then we're going to get this configuration window that pops up. I'm going to just expand this out just a little bit here. And you may not really be able to see this too well, but there are actually two different scroll bars, an inner scroll bar and an outer scroll bar. So you're going to want to scroll down on both of them until you see turn it in, and then go ahead and select turn it in there. And then I'm going to click the blue select button here. Okay, now I'm going to give it a due date inside of Canvas, and we'll see here that there's actually two due dates. We have some settings that we need to set here inside of Canvas, and then when we create the Turnitin portion of the assignment, there's some Turnitin specific settings that we'll need to do as well. I'm going to go ahead and give this a due date, and we'll make this due next month, maybe on the 19th, and update assignment. Now Turnitin is going to activate our Turnitin assignment inside of Canvas here, and I can see now that it's ready because I can see my assignment inbox up here. Now there's a couple of additional settings that we need to set, and I'm going to cover that in the next video. The other things that you're going to need to do, and again we'll cover this in the next video, is to make sure that you publish your assignment inside of Canvas so that your students can see it. Again, in the next video we're going to cover the settings inside of Turnitin.